Hey, people of YouTube, it's of course Schwa from Misplaced Comma. Uh, I haven't seen you guys in a while, that's not true. In fact, you just saw me earlier this morning when we did the Batman Villains Cash from our friends over at Collectible Geek. So, this one here is I just got home from work, and lo and behold, there's another box in the mailbox. That's what this week's going to be, it's going to be a bunch of boxes coming in. Um, so this one here is, of course, our favorites, the originators. This is Loot Crate. Uh, Loot Crate, of course, is a monthly subscription service. It's generally about 30-ish dollars a month that, with shipping costs built in there as well. Um, and, of course, this month's um, theme, because there's always a monthly theme, is Cyber, which means uh, Terminator, uh, Battlestar Galactica, Borderlands, etc., etc. So there's all sorts of cool stuff in there. The one that I'm most excited for, I love Borderlands. Borderlands is, in my opinion, one of the best games ever of all time. Maybe not of all time, but it's definitely a great game, especially something fun to play with with your friends. Um, and of course, that brings me on to Z Box. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Loo Great. So let's, without further ado, let's dig on in. Okay, just want to cut, 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 there we go. Now the fun thing about this one is it's actually a different size box than what it usually is. Usually they're quite thin, they in fact usually sit right in the mail slot. This one actually had to go in the package disposal area. Alright, here we go. Open sesame. The first thing we have, ooh, we have a couple things in here. We have a t-shirt. And these guys have done some pretty decent t-shirts. Um, I had a really nice one from this time last year when they did a Villains box, which was a, a combination of Joker and Loki. I think I was wearing it in one of my other videos. Fantastic shirt. I love it. It's called Jokey. Here we go. What do we got here? Oh, cool. Okay, it's Optimus Prime. During, uh, and it's a like Tron-type crossover. That's pretty cool. And let me guess. Does it say Loot Crate on it? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so we have an Optimus Prime Tron t-shirt. Cool. Starting off pretty decently. I don't have any Transformers stuff. In fact, I don't really have much robot stuff. So when I was looking around trying to see what type of robot stuff I was going to put up, like maybe I, I couldn't find much. All I could find was a Hulkbuster and, you know, maybe a couple things. I did pick up the Borderlands um, Funko Pops, though. So that's really awesome. I even got the Gentleman uh, Claptrap, which was an awesome find on my lunch break uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, that's an EB Games exclusive or GameStop exclusive. Definitely uh, worth it. Oh, okay. I'm trying to avoid the big thing that's in here, but I think I might have to. No, okay, here we go. Then we have... What the hell is this? Trying to keep our language clean on this channel. Is that what I think it is? Chronicle Skydance Productions. So Skydance, that'd be Terminator. Yep, yep. Terminator Genesis. Brain Chip. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So it's the brain chips that they use for the T800s and T1000 bots. Um, I have to say real quick that this has been a really weird summer because some of the best movies, at least that I've seen, are movies that are like I don't want to say remakes, because I feel like we're kind of getting past the whole remake thing in Hollywood, but more of the uh, uh, sequels. But, like, sequels that are, like, 20 to 30 years past. I mean, we had Jurassic World that came out, which is a really fun summer movie. If you haven't seen it, great movie. Mad Max, which is just, I mean, you've all heard. Mad Max is a fantastic movie, and it's, like, it, the last one was done in, like, the early 90s, so it's been a while coming. And now we're doing Terminator Genesis, so before I didn't really want to see it, but... I don't know. Following the trend, I feel as though we're going to go see this movie, and I'm hoping that it's actually better than 3. Not asking for a lot, I guess. Okay, cool. So, Brain Chip. Moving on next. We've got... Mm, I don't know what the heck that is. It's blue. Oh, we have the booklet, and I'll check that afterwards. I always forget to check the booklet before we go to this type of thing. Uh, sorry, before we end it. Oh, okay, cool. It's a... Um, it's like a pencil or a pen case, like we would get when you're in elementary school to hold your pencils and pens and all that other fun stuff you could put in here. I don't know what my voice um, But it's cool because it's got all this cyber um, stuff on there, so it actually, you can feel it. It's actually raised a little bit. 
Oh, and it's shiny. I have never noticed that before. So it's really shiny too. So that's cool little pencil satchel. Neat. Sorry guys, I'm really trying to dig around this one particular thing I want to save at the end. This is huge. This is a mouse pad, and this thing is huge. I got a mouse pad a couple months ago, actually more than a couple months ago, from Horrorblock, and it was a Poltergeist one, which I've been using since then. Oh, ho. yes. Um, not my favorite character, but here's your Borderlands item, ladies and gents. It's a Zero from Borderlands 2. Um, I love Borderlands, like I said. This is really thick. This is good quality. I don't think this is going to peel. I'm um, sorry, Poltergeist, you just got replaced by a giant mat, because the little one I found wasn't, uh, it was moving around every which way. Oh, and also says Loot Crate in the corner, too, so that's kind of cool. So there's a, the, I don't know if it's a Loot Crate exclusive, but it's definitely a pretty cool item they had made up. Uh, next I have a patch. Oh, no. It's, it's a patch that I don't recognize. My biggest fear when I do these things are, Am I going to recognize everything or know every trend? And if not, are people going to be nice to me if I don't know? So this is what it is. I don't know what it is right now. It's cyber related. That's what the book is for. <laughs> um, so we'll get to that afterwards. We're just going to put that there so I don't forget. Because I probably would forget. I'm not going to lie. Um, and of course, in every box, we always have a pin and... Just like the pencil case, it's got all the cool cyber lines and whatnot on it, nice and blue. You're not really going to make that out too much. It's not really not, there's not much on there. It's just telling, saying it's June 2015 box and it's cyber. Um, so I'm just going to toss that there. I actually hold on to these things. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I got a whole, just a ton of these things. I've got an envelope in here now. And uh, da -da -da, Battlestar Galactica. Now here's where the hate comes. I don't hate Battlestar Galactica. In fact, I've never seen Battlestar Galactica. I love Doctor Who. I love everything sci-fi, but Battlestar Galactica is not something I know a whole lot about. I know when I was in high school, it was huge. Um, so it feels like posters? Okay. Oh, try not to rip it. <laughs> okay, so there's Cylons. I know a little bit about Battlestar Galactica. I just can't pronounce Battlestar Galactica, apparently. Uh, so it's Cylons, and it's something you bring to the shooting range. So whether you're going to airsoft, or if you're going uh, paintballing, or LARPing, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, I've already messed up the folds on it. I can't fold the map worth a damn, and I guess I can't fold the poster either. Oh, and are they identical? Yeah, they're identical. That's cool. I don't, I've got someone I know who's a huge Battlestar Galactica fan, so I think I'm going to pass that off to them. Um... Just because I'm not a huge fan, but then again, that I haven't seen it. I tried watching, I tried watching the first episode, which is kind of like a movie of the the newer series that came out years ago. Um, but it was around Christmas time, and I was really really sick and had some food poisoning, so I actually couldn't experience it the right way. The girlfriend got to watch it with the rest of the family, but I didn't get to see it. Uh, next, we have a sheet of stickers for Nerd Machine. Viva la Nerd Lucian. Join us on Nerd HQ 2015. Oh, I think this is some type of con going on in San Diego. The new Children's Museum. Okay, so these are stickers for support for con. That's cool. Um, I don't live in San Diego. I don't even live in the state or the country. So that won't really work for me. I think I'm down to one other item, guys. And this is the last one I'm avoiding. Yeah. The reason I'm avoiding it is because someone actually rumored to me what might be in this box. And it is pretty awesome. Ladies, this is, is, is so cool. This is a T-800 head. And the really neat thing about it is it's actually pretty solid, but it's made with that vinyl material. I don't even know if this will sit on a table. Oh, sweet, it will. Okay, so this is probably one of the best items I've seen on Loot Crate in a long time. Because I love when I get vinyl figurines because I'm, I'm a collector. I've got tons of this stuff. But you can see on the sides it has all the different engraves. You can see where the chip would go. This is awesome. I, I heard about this. That's why I knew it was in here. Someone spoiled it for me. Um, but that's cool. I'm I'm happy with this. And I thought it was softer than once I heard someone say that it was a soft vinyl. Like a, I thought it was going to be a squeeze toy. I'm really happy that this is rock hard. That's awesome. Let's find out what this patch is. If yeah, you at home already know, then I guess you already know. And congratulations. Future Replicant Corporate Logo Patch A to B Emblem. Inspired by Sinister Biotech Company that made some of our favorite film replicants. This custom embroidered patch can be sewn or ironed onto... 
Uh, so it's company. I don't know much more about it than that, guys. But the magazine's pretty cool. Um, inside it, we got all sorts of fun stuff. Zachary Levi has an article. It talks about everything that's in the box. And, oh, wow, it even shows the processing plant where how these heads were made. Behind the scenes look. So this is pretty cool. All right, guys. So, as I said in the last video, um, I'm just going to cut right to it. We've got a 100 uh, subscriber giveaway. When I first looked at when I just looked at it before we started shooting this video, I'm at 99. That means we're one away. Once we hit that one, then we'll be able to do the giveaway. Um, next video, I will be able to. Um, I'll come up with some type of concept for the giveaway. I'll do a separate video or something. But right now, it just happened so quickly. I didn't expect it. But yeah. So guys, with that said, if you enjoy the video, then like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom of the video. And of course, uh, with that said, um, you can also follow us, or follow me rather, at uh, Misplaced Comma on the Instagram. And you can follow us on the Facebook. No, are we on the Facebook? No, we're on the Instagram, we're on the Twitter. I don't tweet much though, I gotta figure out how to tweet. I'm not really good at it. I'll get better at it. I don't know. All right guys, other than that, I believe that's everything. Um, cool. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't think so. All right, quick recap. Skull, book, stickers, posters, mouse pad, t-shirt. Everything in the is in the box, is on the table. It's fantastic, it's great. Get your own Loot Crate. Subscription is down below. Take care, guys, and later days.